Yes, hello. Listen, we literally just got out of court after a three hour hearing and literally we just got out of court. Here's what we why we were in court today. Yes, white boy Rick was in court today. Rick Warshi is his real name, and he was trying to preserve his $100 million lawsuit. He's suing basically a couple of people, a couple of entities, the FBI, the city of Detroit, the Detroit specific police officers and FBI agents, all saying that basically they, and I'll make a general, uh, kind of a general allegation, they conspired against him on two different occasions to keep him in prison. One, initially back in 1988, when he went to prison at the ripe old age, he, they started at 14 years old, grooming Rick Warshi to be an informant for the government. They say, Rick Warshi says, that's child abuse. That's part of this lawsuit. And then in 2003, when white boy Rick was up for parole, he apparently was not paroled, and instead, there was kind of a conspiracy amongst the people being sued to keep him in prison. That formulates the uh, the allegations against all, all those people. Now, why are we in court today? Because the uh, FBI in the city of Detroit, the defendants in the case, they say white boy Rick waited too long to bring the suit. He waited too long because he just filed the suit about two years or so ago after waiting about 30 years or so. And that, they say, violates the statute of limitations. Now, Rick Warshi says, wait a minute. I couldn't bring a lawsuit against the people that are keeping me in prison because it would reta they'd retaliate against me. And under the law, there is a provision. You can wait to bring a lawsuit, a civil rights claim, in a sense, if you're still in prison. But the other, but the people from Detroit and the FBI, they say, wait a minute, Rick Worsey had no fear whatsoever. He was able to tell his story in various appeals. He asked, even asked the governor to commute his sentence, and he was talking about doing a movie deal. He wasn't in fear in prison at all. Nevertheless, Rick Warshi spoke just a little while ago after getting out of this three-hour hearing. Here he is. Did 30 years in prison for the same crime everybody else committed. As I was in here, my friend that was convicted, convicted when he was 16 years old texted me. I mean, he did 14 years, you know, so why was I held for 30 years? I think that the government and, and the powers that be are still trying to lie and cover things up that they did. Now, Rick Warshi says that he is still in fear today, but he says and his lawyer says that legally, if you're in fear while you're in prison and you're going to sue the prison, Rick Warshi thinks today that had he brought the lawsuit 30 years or so ago when these things happened, he would still be in prison today. And that, he says, is unfair. Okay, so the judge, after this long, long hearing, is going to issue a written opinion. Nothing really happened today. However, the judge seemed to say that she wanted specifics. Who specifically, how did specific people retaliate against Rick Warshi while he was in prison? That is going to be quite quite an issue, but we'll have to wait to the judge rates an opinion. But again, Rick Warshi trying to preserve a $100 million lawsuit. And the other side says you waited too long. I'm live here in the federal court in Flint. I'll send it back to you guys. Interesting case here, Charlie, and I'm curious, you said that the judge seemed to indicate that she really wants more information, but do you think she's going to go ahead and write this opinion without that additional information? Well, on this level, this is a first challenge. Theoretically, the FBI and the defendants in the case can get one more bite of the apple. We'll get into that later. But but Rick Warshi, White Boy Rick's got to show that he didn't blow the statute of limitations, that he did not wait too long. That's the first challenge. But it's a big challenge here when, when some of the allegations goes back to 19, uh, in the 80s. In fact, some of the people, one of the people being sued today is dead, and the other people uh, have retired. So you got to be fair on both of these. And that's what the defendants were saying is say, listen, these facts are so old. That's why we have a statute of limitations. That's why we put timelines on when you can bring these types of lawsuits. So it is going to be an issue that the judge is going to have to consider. Again, on the other side, Rick Boy, White Boy Rick did more time, as you just heard him, in prison for a drug crime than maybe anybody in the whole state of Michigan. And there may have been some collusion, his allegations, that he stayed in prison because of what these entities did to him. Again, 
<laughs> there could be another challenge down the road. We're not, we're not ready for a trial yet. We just want to see if there is enough evidence to suggest that white boy Rick did not wait too long to bring the lawsuit. Judge didn't give a decision today. That's coming up probably in about 30 days in a written opinion. Yeah, certainly he's looking for some kind of compensation, but uh, will he get it? We'll have to see. All right, thanks so much, Charlie Langton. As always, we appreciate you.